So everyone, good evening. So today we're actually towards the end of the course. We have two classes left, both today and next week. So today we're week 17. And I want to talk to you today about maybe one of the most important parts that all of you will be interested at one time or another, depending on what stage you are right now of your career or your project. It's money. As the song said, it's all about the money. So we're going to dive today and see where and how you can find your next job, your next project, or even your next teammate, your next worker that can help you to deliver on the work that you want to do for your clients, for yourself, or for your company. So I'm going to share with you some resources and we're going to go through them and see how you can use them to make your life hopefully easier and better and to improve your income and start applying what you have learned to work during the course. So I have listed here a few resources. I'm going to go and show you all of them one by one. So let's go and start with the first one. And the first one I want to show you is Fiverr. Now, who of you here in the class have already used Fiverr? Raise your hand. No, no one. Okay, perfect. So, do you know um, who is the owner of Fiverr? No. Okay, so I'll tell you two things about Fiverr. First of all, it's an Israeli company. It was founded by Israeli people. Uh, it's based in Israel, but it has become, or maybe it was the first one to create the whole uh, concept that it is. Now, the, the, the reason it's called Fiverr is because the whole concept like you might have heard before of the $1 shop when they were selling all items in the shop for $1. So Fiverr made the same thing, but with $5. That's why they call it five. So the whole idea was to make a website, a whole marketplace where you have a lot of different services available of freelancers. And the concept was all the services were based or there was something for $5. For example, create a logo, $5. Um, set up a website, $5. I make a banner, $5. A lot of different services for $5. In the, so it grew very much, uh, quite fast. It became like a, really one of the market leaders in the freelancer, online freelancer marketplaces industry. Actually, just recently, in the last month, they went what's called public. So they went on the uh, New York Stock Exchange, in Wall Street. It was like a big TV thing about that, a giant company. Um, already worth billions of dollars and they are stopped from here. And during the last two years or so, they transitioned and grew one step further. So instead of only having, or the concept was $5, they started also to uh, upgrade their level of services so that you could also have things which are more professional or more expensive for a few hundreds of dollars or dozens of dollars. So not only $5. In the past it used to be, Five dollars or multipliers of five. For example, one logo, five dollars. So five logos, twenty-five dollars, etc. Because this was the concept. Now, the very cool and creative thing about this place is that first of all, you can use all those marketplaces both ways. It means on one way you can find service providers for any type of work that needs to be done. So it can be to create content, really to write blog posts for your blog in any language, by the way, because you can find people from all over the world. So even if you only can write in English, you want someone to write for you in French, you'll find it. If you want someone to write for you in Russian, you'll find it, whatever, all the languages. You really have people from all over the world. This is one. Two is that you have a very, very big variety of services. They can be technical things like programming, um, programming stuff, but it can also be um, you know, like more Except content services, writing content, also video services, graphical services like images, uh, graphical work, copywriting, uh, preparing uh, all type of flyers, and also even more, I would say, original stuff like what they call like voiceovers. If you want someone to make an ad for you, then you can, for example, prepare a text, and someone with a professional voice, like in the radio, will record it for you. And once again, you don't have to be a big company. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do that. You can say here, it says popular, voiceover, translations, logo design, articles, and blog posts. So let's go and see 
what type of services you can do. So social media. So social media actually to be or something that you can use for yourself, or it can be that you can also offer you services on those platforms. So you can sign up, okay? Or either as someone who wants to use one of the freelancer services on this website, or as it says here on the top, become a seller. So you can become a seller and then you can sell or offer your services on this platform. So obviously you could offer your social media marketing services that you have learned here in the course if you want to, or you can offer something else. If you offer another service, as long as it is a service that you can deliver online, then you can offer it through the, through the platform. Let's have a look. So you can see here, I, right now I'm in the social media marketing category. You can see what you need help with and to offer you different options. Strategy and audience research, profile setup and integration, social content creation, social media management, ad campaigns creation, ad management optimization. So all of those things you should be able to do already by yourself because we're, we learned how to do it. And you know already how to do it yourself, you know how to use some basic softwares and tools to help you do it. But if you don't have the time for it, or you don't have the patience for it, or you don't like to do it, then you can pay someone else to do it or to do part of it for you. And it doesn't have to be very expensive. It can be quite cheap. You can see here different pricing, okay? You can see. Um, let's see something. 200 shekels, 400 shekels, 131 shekels, 75 shekels, 18 shekels. Uh, so three varies, 56 shekels. Now I'm saying it in shekels because I'm, they recognize that I'm in Israel, but you can also, of course, change the currency. It works with all over the world. Usually it will also connect with your PayPal account. So if you have a PayPal account, very good. If you don't have a PayPal account, it's a good idea anyway to create a PayPal account. Now, because you're going to use it for your business, you want to create a PayPal business account. It's free, everyone can do it. Uh, and then you can connect it to your bank account and to your credit card. Then you can use it both to receive money so people can pay you and also to pay for other services and stuff like, for example, stuff which is on Fiverr that you would buy. You can see on the left side, you can filter all of those uh, options from freelancers to different categories into the delivery time, meaning how much time it will take for them to give you the services that they offer the budget, the platform type, service included, the languages that the people speak, even their country they live in. So if you want to work with someone from Israel and not someone from India, you can type Israel. And then you will, you will see all the freelancers in Israel that are offering the type of service that you want. So you can really find someone for one thing, what's called like an internet language, a gig, so a short time job one-time thing or you can find someone maybe for the long for the long term long run someone that you will really work with for on a day-to-day -day basis for a lot of work so basically you can automate your full business you can find someone to reply uh, if you get messages on your facebook page you can hire someone to set up and manage your facebook ads to set up and manage your post content for social media you can really continue with your existing life don't do anything as long as you hire someone else for doing it. And it doesn't have to cost like a full-time salary of one person. You can really find cheap services because a lot of those freelancers are from uh, you know, cheap labor countries, especially if it's like technical services like people from India, China, uh, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Philippines. And in some of those countries, they really have like high quality people like their, their service is really good. So you know, if, you want, if you're looking for something technical, like programming, a lot of programmers from India are really good, top level. They can do whatever you need them to do or program whatever needs to be done. Uh, if you want someone to write stuff in English, someone from the Philippines can be very good with it because they have very good English in the Philippines, even sometimes in India. So you can check also, all those people have rankings, ratings and rankings. You can see here they have a star star review you know you can have people who have five stars is the best and you can see here they have 456 reviews for example some of them have even thousands of reviews or so you can choose and really filter and be sure that you're going with someone who is safe 
And if there is any problem, the platform like this, for example, Fiverr.com will uh, guarantee your money, basically. And even then, you don't pay directly to the person you're hiring. You're paying basically through the platform. So, for example, let's say someone is asking for $10 for something. Then you will hire him. Then you will basically uh, put aside on Fiverr $10 that we, Fiverr will take from your PayPal account, let's say. And when the guy has delivered his service and everyone is satisfied, then Fiverr will pay him and will basically release the money to him. If there is a problem, usually Fiverr will cover it. So you're definitely protected, usually both ways. You're protected as a seller and protected as a buyer. So you can feel quite confident. If, you, if you're just starting and you're looking to get some experience working in this field as a freelancer, then the platform like Fiverr is really good for that. As long as you're willing to uh, so-called work hard to get a name for yourself, to build up your reputation, and to start small and then grow, then you can move along. You can see there are different levels of seller, level two, level top rated, things like that. So you can move on also forward as a seller. You start from the bottom, but something you can do. As long as, once again, you need to be proactive, meaning that it's not good enough to wait for everything to happen. It will be better for you to go look for also people who are posting projects, make your offers, communicate with them fast, and, and monitor those websites on a day-to-day basis. You can see here at the top, there's so many categories. It's really, really very broad. 3D models, a brochure design. Uh, you can see a list of all the services under digital marketing, really everything. Writing and translation, video and animation, music, programming and tech, business, really infinite amount of options. Now you can see, become a seller, I showed you. Now, joining is really easy. You just need to click on join, put your uh, email address, and basically everything will be more or less automated, quite easy. Um, so this is one platform. A second platform I want to show you, which is similar, is freelancer.com. So freelancer.com is one of the most famous one. I'll show you the top three. Freelancer.com, as it says, it's very uh, clear what it is, a platform for freelancers. So you can, once again, you can work, you can find jobs and projects to work on as a freelancer, or you can hire someone. Same ideas on Fiverr, you have all the different categories, very wide, everything, anything, all um, types of, of, of services and levels and pricing and countries. The difference would be that here on freelancer, if there is like a few levels, there's, I would say there is like the low level of pricing, mid level, and high level of pricing, the freelancer is in the middle. So Fiverr is usually the cheapest place to find things for people to do small things, quick things, uh, one-time things. Fiverr is the place to go, okay? If you're looking for something medium that takes a little bit more time, or let's say instead of paying five, ten dollars ten dollars you would pay an average of, 50 to 200 dollars uh, in average or in the local currency for a job or project then you can find it and you would you would go for freelancer and on the higher level highest level i would say you have this platform of upwork which is more set up for bigger projects either bigger in terms of how many hours or how many weeks you need to work on the project or also the payments. So there are projects of, on Upwork for $1,000, $5,000, even 10 or $20,000. So you can find really big projects or look for professional companies for high level projects on Upwork. So uh, this is an overview. Now let's go in and see how it looks from the inside. Okay, so here for example, I'm inside my Fiverr account. And I'll show you how it works. So let's say, give me an idea what you would like to do. So I can search for it together. Anyone? What should I look for? What type of service? Technical, social media. Uh, SEO. SEO, SEO. Yeah, let's go to SEO. So I go in SEO. 
Okay. So right now I'm in category SEO for five now. Right now it's sorted by recommended. So it, it will show me the people with high rankings, uh, many, many reviews. You can see 1,000 plus reviews, 610 reviews. I can sort by what I want. Okay, it's the new survivals, best selling or recommended. Some things are very, very, very cheap. You can see 18 shekels, starting at 18 shekels. Others ones are more expensive. Now you can see on the left side, if you, if you know what you need, what you're looking for, and the SEO is a big, it's a big word, right? There is a lot of uh, elements, a lot of items that are included in SEO. If you know specifically what you're looking for, you can choose it. You can see how many different offers of freelancers there are for every little bit of uh, option within the SEO category of services, thousands. So it's gonna be quite uh, difficult to look at all of them, right? So you need to really try and filter in the best way possible. So let's say I want to go with, what do you say? Let's go with off-page strategy. Yeah. I want someone who speaks English. There we go. Boom. Okay, let's look at this guy. I will create a full SEO campaign for your website. Let's go and see. Okay, so as you can see, you can see the terms here. Sometimes they have like every person, or every offer like this one, he has a few packages. Basic one, a standard and a premium. So the basic one starts 187 shekels. Okay. And it will tell me what I will get for that price. Okay. Basic multi-tire link package for up to three keywords. There's a standard package. See, it grows up to 374 shekels which includes multi-tire links, SEO reports and action plans against competitors and a premium package for 656 shares. Okay, so you can see it includes off-page strategy and backlink analysis. You can see the, how, many, how much time it will take for delivery, seven days, okay. Today is the top sellers, they even have a video of themselves. And usually you can also see some examples sometimes of their work professional SEO agency, blah, 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 40,000 buyers. He's been here for seven years, five buyer. He's been explaining exactly what he offers. You know, comparison here of the different packages. You can see it's from the UK. So if the country of origin is important for you, we can look at it. How much time it takes for him to respond. That's why I said response time is, is important. When was, when was the last time he delivered work for one of the clients. It'll be a long, nice description of everything. And the FAQ, once again, we can see exactly what it needs. Reviews, which are very important. So you can see what other people are writing about him. They were happy with his work or not. And that's it. Let's say I want to work with him. Continue. Okay, so you can see they are offering me extras if I want to buy. Okay, now there is a little service fee that Fiverr will take, and it will say you won't be charged yet, as you can see. So, like I said, basically you will, you will when you click on this, it means that you will comply or you will be um, guaranteeing that if the guy works and deliver what he has promised, that you basically, you will be charged automatically by Fiverr for 688 shekels. So this is not like a, a game. You do have to uh, take it seriously. You can see, you can do it with PayPal or with Visa or other credit cards. I would recommend to do it with PayPal so you have an additional layer of security. Um, and that's also, if you have any problems, and let's say Fiverr wouldn't 
no, I will be stuck, Fiverr wouldn't refund you. You can always try to get a refund also from PayPal. So using PayPal is usually better as a payment method, especially if you're going to pay for a service online. Okay. Any questions on uh, Fiverr? No? No question. I need to have a strategy. Tell me what, I, what I'm expecting. How will you figure out what I want to achieve? Great question. So, two options. Either you have to take someone which package includes also the strategy, what needs to be done, right? For example, analysis, keyword strategy, competitive analysis. They, they have so, so, such things, they offer such things. Or, yes, sometimes they will ask you for questions, they will ask you. What uh, you know? What you need? What you want? Which keywords you want to optimize regarding the, the the service that you have chosen? Or another option is to hire someone else that will prepare the strategy for you. You can fire find an expert for everything. So you can find a different expert, one expert for strategy, another one for delivery. It's possible. Yeah. So how can I expect something? Uh, it's a very good question. How can you estimate the time it will work on Great question. Okay, so regarding that, a few things you need to know. First of all, bottom line, I don't care about the time, I care about the results. You buy results, you don't buy time. Here on, those, on all those platforms, usually, some of them, they work by the hour. Most of them, they work for the project. And as a service provider, you would prefer to work to pay by the project, not by the hour. Maybe if you are working and you want to work for someone, you would prefer to be, get paid by the hour. But most of the times online, it works by the project. And what's important is the delivery and the results. So regarding delivery, if you're asking, uh, how do I know it will bring results and it's worthwhile. It's one thing. I'll tell you the answer for that. If you're asking how does it how does it work for the business method for him to be profitable on this? How does it how can he deliver? How does he have the time to do and work for so many people? So I'll give you an, another answer for that. So let's first look at the client side. Okay, if I'm buying this service from this guy, why or how would I feel confident that I will get something that is worth my investment. So first of all, you can see, you're not the first one or the second one working with me, okay? So you can say, if you only had one review, two reviews, five reviews, one thing. If the guy has been, has more than 1,000 reviews, uh, has been working for seven years on Fiverr, he's a top rated on, on Fiverr, he's an ambassador for Fiverr, whatever it means. And you can see reviews of other people recently that they were happy with the work done, it means that probably it's worth to pay for it. Okay, so this is one thing that will help you with the confidence, one. Now, regarding the other side of, of how can he deliver this, um, this work or the quality of work for this amount of money. So usually it's by using one or a few of those um, methods that I will tell you about. One is, Subcontracting, meaning maybe this guy from the UK and he has, he's like using his image, his, his name on it. But when someone orders from him or part of the work is done by someone else, maybe he's taking someone else from Fiverr from India that he pays him uh, five shekels and he does 80% uh, of the work for him because in other countries it's much cheaper. This is one option. So subcontracting to someone will be cheaper by the hour. This is one option. The second option is using tools, softwares, to make and deliver the work faster. So maybe he has bought, there are some advanced softwares, sometimes that costs $5,000 to buy the software, and then you can use it for delivering the work for all your clients. So me as a client, I wouldn't spend $5,000 on the software, but if I'm paying someone that already bought the software and he is selling it to many people, so everyone is winning. Of course, of course, of course, 100%. For every um, element of online marketing, there is the software is available. 
on all levels, cheap, expensive, um, I would say like uh, legitimate and illegitimate, meaning like, you know, like I said about the <laughs> Google uh, SEO, it's like there is like the, uh, you know, the black, black, um, black and white SEO, right? So same thing on, on all the other platforms. On Facebook, on LinkedIn, there are softwares that do things that are allowed and software do things that are not allowed. So you have to be careful. Sometimes you are using software that are not uh, allowed, you could be hurt by it. That's why that if you're going to choose and do a service on one of those platforms that is too cheap and too, uh, um, too shady, meaning that there's not a lot of reviews, is a new guy, it's too cheap compared to the others, then you have to be suspicious. Yeah, because at the end, there is no, uh, there is no magic. There is a level of average pricing for the same type of service. Yes, it depends if it's using a software or manual, if it's using someone from America or someone from Europe or someone from India. There's a difference in pricing, but some of the basic rules stay the same. Yes. Go Yes, so most platforms are free to join, both as a service provider, as a freelancer, and also, of course, to post um, or look for freelancer for your own, for yourself. On both sides, it's free to join, usually. But, but not everything will be free. So sometimes you need to pay uh, monthly subscription package for some some of those services for extra uh, exposure or getting extra information or getting more proposals or stuff like that. So there are different levels usually. Like also on Fiverr, you can see there is like Fiverr Pro, things like that. But the, especially on Fiverr, you would you can use most of the things for free, both as uh, once again if you want looking for someone or if you want to be hired for a project or offer your own services, you can do it for free. Freelancer, the second platform I showed you, this, this platform, you can see right now I'm on the free package, but they have paid packages. And if I want to use the full features and have a good chance of getting work, they will tell me that I will have to go for a higher level package. So let's see, let me show you. I want to work. Yeah, but I want to show you something. I don't see it here. You can see yeah. here, see bids? Yeah, so but basically there are different packages. And let's say with the free package, you can only apply for five projects per month. <laughs> or with the free package, you will only uh, be seen uh, by premium members. So there are like many, many different levels. At the end, if you want to have a better chance or get the best project or get projects first, you always need to pay. But there's always an entry level for free on all of them. And usually getting like posting or looking for a freelancer and paying them, it would be easier, like or more available for free. While if you're looking for jobs, sometimes you will need to pay a few extra dollars to be uh, the top so that people can see you and find you uh, because there are thousands of people that are uh, basically going and competing for every project. And I'll show yeah. you what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I want to work, for example, you want to work, you want to uh, launch your own platform, like your, your own uh, campaign for, for 
you can want to do your own freelancing, like you want to about that stuff, you want to work on your own. <coughs> or is it free of charge or you need to pay the, the, the website? I don't understand. I mean, you no know, more like if you also launch your own com campaign on this uh, file. Okay, so how it goes? It's free. It's not free. It's one minute. To post, to post on Fiverr, a project is free. To uh, to to create your profile and offer your services on Fiverr is free. But you'll see that in uh, some programs, like for example the freelancer one, I can tell you also from my own uh, trial that if you want to get a project and win a project you need to take a paid uh, plan. Not because it's, it's, like it's guaranteed, but because like if you don't take it, your chance of getting is much lower. Look, those are the plans, monthly plans, for the freelancers on freelancer.com. You can see they have you know, $0.99 per month. You get 15 bids per month, okay? On the other one, $5 per month, you get 50, five zero bids, okay? You can, you can uh, add yourself to 50 skills instead of 30 skills. I can have, you can be on more categories. Uh, you can have a cover photo. Um, you can have three free highlights contests. You get more exposure. The more exposure you get, the better your chances are of winning projects. So if you want to grow and be sure to have projects every month, you'll have to invest a little bit. You can start with zero. To, uh, you know, they will offer you also trial for the ter first 30 days. So you can try for 30 days, try to get as much as possible. But at the end, there is always uh, an advantage to the people who are paying a little bit more. Same thing goes also for the other platforms. Let me show you how it looks, the project. Okay. I want to look for a project. Let's see. By the way, look look at numbers, just to get an idea. That it was showing here. There are 34 million registered users on freelancer.com. 16 million jobs have been posted. So those platforms are really, really giant. And it can be quite confusing uh, to to find what you need for or to get the job that you want. But but they are a big project. You can see here, there's a project. They are looking for e-commerce dropshipping expert. They are willing to pay between ten to twenty thousand dollars for the whole project. Right now, you see, can, it has been open for two hours. So it was posted two hours ago. There are already thirty-seven bids. Okay. Here there's another pop-up for another pla pla project that just went live. Social media. F they are paying or offering between fifteen to twenty-five dollars per hour. And the the amount of projects here is is really huge. You can filter by, by them by what you want, the categories, uh, if you want all hourly projects or fixed projects. And then it's a question of, of speed. Speed and of course, once again, uh, what membership level you have. If you have a higher membership level, some of the projects on, for example, this platform, because of the membership levels, they will tell you that in order to apply to this project, you need to have this amount of styles, this amount of work already. Okay, level one, level two, level three because they want you to pay. And also they want to use or to promote freelancers that already have some good feedback from other projects, already have done some work with them. So they always give more priority and bigger priority to the ones that already have worked with these North platform before. But you can see there is really everyday jobs. And if you go every day to this site, or you go, you leave it open, and you, you are very quick to post and offer your offer for those projects quickly. There are only already three bids in 90 minutes. Then you have a better chance of getting it. Because if you wait for, you do it only one every two days, then you know it's too late. There are already 500 offers, and probably someone will be 
cheaper than you or better than you. This is a big problem with those platforms that because you're competing against basically everyone from all over the world, <laughs> and there, are, there will always be someone who is more experienced than you or cheaper than you. And then that's why the comp in order to do something to succeed, you need to be very, very uh, organized, very, very dedicated. And it's really on the job on itself to work with those platforms. It has to be like very, really organized, day by day, long term, and you know, one, one thing at a time. It's not in one day. But if you work on it, I can tell you, me, myself, I'll show you another platform. Um, I haven't spent much time on freelancer. I did try it, but I used Fiverr many times before. Um, I hired people to do some, some stuff like uh, uh, logo designs, um, some, some type, some, sometimes some uh, programming stuff, um, or some other stuff maybe for a website, something. So it's really doable also for content, for writing articles I've used Fiverr before. Upwork, actually I found um, maybe two or three years ago, I used it, I got some clients from there, from all over the world, uh, including some big clients that became like, bigger clients and they stayed with me for six months or more. So you can find real good, serious projects on those websites, but you need to work hard for them. You need to have luck, but also you need, not only luck, it's more, it's more of hard work, and really taking it seriously. Okay. Now, you can see here, let's see. Bidding on this project is restricted. You can see, that's why I said to you, you must have at least five reviews or be on a plus professional premier membership to bid for this project. So, here they're telling you, either you have to pay to be able to bid for this project because you have a membership, the free membership cannot go bid for this project, or you need to have at least five reviews. And you cannot get five reviews unless you have five projects you have already done, people who are happy with you. Of course, for this, probably you will need the paid membership. That's why it's a, a tricky game, but you can try to use your free membership on the first 30 days to try to get the maximum amount of reviews during that time. Okay. So this is about freelancer. So I showed you there's a really big amount, big quantity of jobs all the time. You need to be quick, monitor it every day, all the time. Another one, go to the other one. Okay. Upwork.com. So Upwork is really one of the giants in the industry together with Fiverr. Uh, like I said, Upwork is more for bigger projects, either, either bigger in terms of how many hours of work or week or months you need to work with the same client, or also the payment, uh, the level of the payment, both on the hourly basis, on the monthly basis, or project basis. So some people charge, you can charge $100 per hour, you can charge $500 per hour, everything exists here. You can be a lawyer, and offer your services here. There's no, no uh, really, there's, there's accounting services, uh, customer service, someone was asking me, you were asking me about hiring someone to do customer service. So if it's something like, which is more like a longer term project, like a real um, remote worker for you, if you want someone to be on your team, to do things on a day by day basis and not once, then Upwork is the place you would go to, to find someone for like longer term. You can still find someone good on Fiverr, but then the two challenges. Most of the times on Fiverr, people go for short one-time things. So either the people, if you want to work with someone every day, then either they will be very busy and they won't have time for you, um, or you will not be able to afford them for every day, or um, this will be like, this would be not like a good choice. You will better find someone which is more convenient for you on the side like Upwork. Although sometimes it has happened to me before that you can start with someone on Fiverr and then after you know, you know, you know each other, you've communicated, he has delivered, everyone is happy, you can start to Skype or whatever and you can do work between both of you together without going through Fiverr directly. You can work directly. Now, 
all those platforms like Upwork, like Freelancer, like uh, Fiverr, they work on the fact that their business is by making this shidduch, this matchmaking between, between someone who needs something and someone who will work on it and deliver it. So, and they take a percentage on both sides usually. So they charge for the 5% or 3% from one side and 5% from the other side. That's how they make their money. So all of them, they don't like when someone or when people go out of their platform and start working directly together. So they, they're trying to make it very difficult for the two sides to bypass them and work without them. For example, they will tell you that they're not allowed to put your Skype or email address or your phone number because they want you to use their own messaging platform to only message everything through them. And they should be the intermediary. Okay, so they will try to uh, block it. They will try. They will not allow you to put the uh, phone number or email address directly in the in the chat platform of those of those systems. Uh, they will warn you in the terms and conditions that you're not allowed to start with someone and just all the time take him out of there. But they cannot block you 100%, so it's still doable and it happens within those things. Let me show you something with freelance, with Upwork. Upwork is also the most serious one, meaning this is the most uh, complicated one that you really need to be careful with them. Also because it's an American company, and American companies are always more um, you know, uh, complicated, more uh, strict regarding their policies and their way of work. You can see posting a job, it's free, like I said. Now freelancers, in order to, you can list yourself for free. See, basic is free, okay? But, and you can get proposals from freelancer, but if you want to bid on projects and actually apply for projects, you need either to pay for a package or you can pay and buy credits to bid on projects. So they have like a system that you need to pay, you need to buy like your credits to propose your service, I'll show you. Okay. Go. They just changed their, their model, but basically, for example, for fifteen US dollars per month, you get seventy connects. Seventeen connects are like some type of tokens that you can use to bid on projects to offer your own services to a project. Now, every project charge you between one to six connects to bid for this project, depending on the length or the value, the budget of the project. You need to pay between one to six of those connect units to bid on the project. So, and every connect usually today, you can buy them for like 15 cents per connect. So you can make a calculation that bidding on a on the bigger project that would be like $1,000, $2,000 an upper project would cost you six connect. So about 90 cents or $1 per bid. So it's not very expensive and it's actually a good thing that they make you pay for it because when you, have to pay for it. There are a lot of junk, a lot of people who are not bidding, then you have a better chance of being taken uh, by those project owners by bidding and actually being uh, willing to spend $1 to offer your services. You have a better chance of success when you actually pay for a subscription or for those uh, paid bidding offers. And 
once again, I, I, f I found some uh, clients, some projects. Some people contacted me directly. Some people, I offered myself to their project. And, you know, we started working together and it worked great. So I definitely can uh, tell you to, to try it. But Upwork, once again, is more for the bigger, larger projects. So if you want something cheap, fast, first go with Fiverr. If you're looking for someone to, to make a logo for you, Fiverr will be the cheapest and fastest option. Now, all of those three platforms I've shown you, they are the biggest international freelancer platforms as a whole. So they are very generalistic. There are people, millions of people from all over the world. Really, uh, hundreds of new projects every day, even every hour. Okay, so there's plenty of uh, options for everyone. There are also more niches um, places websites, for example. If you want graphical work done, okay, then you know they will go to Google and say create. Uh, two, two big websites you know, for this for logo and graphical world. Design crowd. 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 So this is another type of marketplace for freelancers. This one, of course, is, is focused on everything which has to do with graphical work, like image work, design, right? So it's a design, design for websites, design for logos, everything which needs to be designed. Now, this platform is working different. Here, you're putting a project, you're offering a project, you're selling, you're telling to the people, I'm looking for a new logo for my website who will sell these and these services. And then all the freelancers are basically competing for you. They are going to give you uh, designs, offer different designs. And you can choose the one that you prefer. So it's like, of a, it's kind of like, a, like an auction okay? or a tender offer, meaning you choose something, you're telling people what you want to get done. 50, 100, 200 people will prepare something for you, a design. You can see an image how it looks like. And you can choose and pick the one that you prefer. And then you will basically work on the you know, fine tuning, everything that you like, and get the work done and delivered to you. So you choose, you tell them what you want to be done. How much are you willing to pay for it? People will have, you'll, you'll give them a time, one day, three days, five days, seven days, to make their proposals. You will get a little preview of all the different proposals, and then you can choose which one that you prefer. So instead of having to do all the work yourself and going through all the hundreds of profiles and um, choosing the randomly the one that you think would be the best one for you, you can actually get proposals, direct proposals for you and then choose the one that you prefer. So this is another way of working. Now, it's also like a international platform, but for a design, like I said. Another type of platform for finance that you have is, is It's a local platform. So Israel also has its own Fiverr or Upwork freelancer type of place. The biggest one and most famous one in Israel is called Xplace. So xplace.com is the URL. It's actually, it's an Israeli company that also offers an international website, but we are interested in the Israeli website. And the reason is, if you're looking for work in Hebrew, uh, you don't know Hebrew yourself, you're Lechadash, you want someone to write, translate, prepare, 
write blog posts for your website, whatever you need, whatever, once again, everything, logos, design, content, you can find it here. So this will be the place to go if you want to find uh, Israelis, the same ID, you choose a category that you want, you have everything, programmers, you only have, even have your coaching, whatever. Really, really, very general. What do you find? What are you looking for? A Laravel developer. Okay. Framework. And so I'll tell you why, because it's very uh, rare. In Israel, they don't know that. That's why. Probably a platform that's more, mostly used in Europe, so you have people in Europe on uh, you know, the Upwork and you won't find it here. By the way, you can also find Israelis if you need to work with Israelis for, because they you know Hebrew or they, you have some uh, things that need to be local, then you can find also on Fiverr and look for Israelis. But if you want the cheapest Israelis, then you will find them here on xplace.com. So now, questions about using those freelancer platforms? No? So I want to talk a little bit about Yes, go ahead. You know what we learned, and uh, on your opinion, what is the best way to start, uh, the easiest way to start, and not to disappoint the customer? If you want to sell something over this course, social media marketing, uh, there is a lot of things, with a lot of platform, and a big balagan. What should we start with, which is uh, easy, and we, we will uh, be effective with? And this is exactly what I wanted to talk about right now. <laughs> so, thank you for asking. Good timing. I'll show you. So, actually, as you can see here, other sources to find jobs, projects, and clients. So, I listed the ones that you should be using and uh, the most common one, the best one to use. One is LinkedIn. We already talked about it. Uh, last week, we talked about LinkedIn ad, but even LinkedIn as an organic resource is a great place to find jobs or projects or clients to work on. Especially, once again, if you're going to offer any uh, services to businesses like online marketing services of any type, then LinkedIn is a good place to um, offer your own services and also to look for potential clients and contact them directly. So I listed here LinkedIn, but also company websites. So if you know, who you would like to work with. If you find on Google, you look for on Google, uh, you know, who needs your type of services or what industry you want to work with, then you can make a list of companies in Israel or wherever you want to work in the world that are potential clients or your ideal clients. And then step one, you find, you, you go to Google, you find the relevant companies, look at their website. Either you find the email addresses of the people on the website itself, or you find in the about us or the team or the company website, you find the name, the names of the directors uh, of the company that you want to work with or offer your services to. And then you go to LinkedIn. So step one, go to Google, find their website, find their information, and then go to LinkedIn. Then you can search on LinkedIn according to their name or the company name, find the people and send them a message directly. Even if you don't have an email address, usually you can send them a connection request on LinkedIn, which is like a Facebook friend request, but on the business platform LinkedIn. When you send a connection request, instead of just clicking connect, you have an option to add a message. So use this option to add a message to already introduce yourself. Even if you only have like 300, 500 characters, it has to be a few sentences in the short, but you can give it's an introduction about who you are, what you want to offer them, or why, or what you can help with, help you, help them with, or what you can help them with. So get the conversation ongoing. And then this is a good way to pitch yourself and uh, get clients. So Google, company websites, then LinkedIn. We have learned many things. Yes, so it depends on things, what, what are the most popular, the most uh, uh, easily uh, valuable. It changes all the time for everyone, so there's no like 
right answer or best answer for that. I would say it depends very much also on your own preference and your own uh, feel that you feel the most comfortable and experienced with. If you feel that you like and you have more experience with uh, Facebook ads, then offer Facebook ads. If you feel that you prefer or you have more experience with writing blog posts for other websites or writing articles, then offer this. If you want to offer Google ads or SEO, then so there is no real answer. It depends on, on yourself, on your own. Um, regarding like what is more attractive in the market, something like that, in general, the newer the service, the less people can offer it. So, for example, SEO, people have been doing it for 20 years almost, so there are a lot of people who are offering SEO services. SEO is also, a lot of it can be done with softwares or cheap labor. So most of the SEO today in the world will be done by cheap freelancers or companies in India, for example, that are very cheap. So to be hard for you to compete against the Indians because they can offer a cheaper price than you. They are willing to work for $3 per hour and you don't want to work for $3 per hour because you will earn $12 per hour minimum wage here in Israel if you're going to uh, work at a pizza. So it's not a good uh, investment for you. However, if you can brand it and market it to the right niche for yourself, then you're not competing against the Indians, you're competing against big advertising agencies or maybe against no one. This is the key to success. So you want to find the niche where you have access and you have local competitive advantage. For example, if you are professional in your and uh, experience in the uh, animal uh, industry, yes, veterinarians and everything, pharmace pharmaceutics or, or animals, whatever, then if you go to those, to this industry and offer your SEO services, then maybe you will be the only one offering that for, for them. They don't know even what it is. So maybe you need to educate them, explain to them, but if you are the expert, because you know more than them, it makes you the expert. And this is a general rule in general in, in, in business development, in branding and marketing, that if you know more than the other person, then you are the expert in their eyes. Okay? So if you brand yourself as an expert in your field and you find the right potential clients when you know that you can offer them real value because you can really help them because they know nothing about the subject, then you can deliver a good service for a good pricing. And they, those people, they don't know how to go to Fiverr. They don't know how to find the cheapest options from India, or maybe India is not relevant for them because <laughs> India don't speak French. So the Indians cannot compete and offers SEO services in French. So they are not relevant. And same thing goes for all other services and all other countries. There is always something that you can find a twist, something unique to yourself, you are an expert in uh, botanics. How many, there's not millions of people who have this experience in the world. You have something quite unique. Good point. It's, really no, it's, a, it's a great example. So, two things. One, you need to choose the right client for you. And one of the rules to finding the right client for your ideal client is it, is it has to be someone that can afford to pay you according to what you are asking, what you want <coughs> to be paid. So, if you only are going to approach people who have no money, organizations that are using volunteers, then they won't be able to pay you, obviously. 
but it doesn't mean that you cannot find the one that can that can pay you and that you are a good fit for them for example in your uh, field of botanics let's say okay you're not a phd in botanics true so you want to write scientific papers in botanics the said and you want work or you, you cannot compete with a student that will work for for free for an internship in an organization in an ngo but i'll give you a practical idea for you like you have this company from the ev remember this guy the ev uh -huh. who's working in this also um, biotech company so in the biotech industry there are thousands if not tens of thousands of companies all over the world that are biotech startups or companies even big companies and they have websites and they need people like you to write cool. articles content for facebook for their blog yeah and you can do that and not everyone can do it. someone from india who has no experience in botanics cannot do it or, Portu or you can do it in portuguese and no one does yes exactly and then you can also ask a better price so instead of paying you will be paid in Israel uh, 10, 35 shekels per hour. You can ask for $50 or $100 per article. I tried to convince her to make a movie out of the Arabic And she got stuck like that. Oh, no, that other, other, other plants, and we couldn't destroy the other plants. The second so, day, yeah. the same kind of plants, the gardeners destroy a lot of them. You see why you couldn't destroy it. It will be plenty of invasive plants. She's stuck. So it comes back to the Pareto principle. The Pareto principle, the 80 20 rule. You are, most of us, we are spending 80% of our time on people that we have zero chance of turning them into good long term worldwide clients. We're wasting our efforts. Mm -hmm. We need to focus on the 20% that will give us 80% of our money of our income of our results okay so it's really very key to defining in advance who you are going to contact who you are going to invest your time in and say no don't waste your time you can afford and you should say no and don't waste your time on options on on uh -huh. on, on potential clients that are not the right fit for you okay you're not doing volunteer work if you cannot pay yourself first Okay. So keep keep your questions. Let's go a little break. After break, we can go on and on. Uh, 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 okay. So guys, a uh, few small announcements, administration announcements. One is, um, I think someone from Yav Kolei sent you an email with a link, with like a little questionnaire to review uh, the course. I know some of you already have uh, used it, replied, but those of you who didn't, I will also post the link in the WhatsApp group. So they asked me to tell you to review. You're welcome to give me a good review, bad review, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not, I'm not the yeah, average, I'm only representing myself. So I'll do whatever is uh, convenient for you. Just giving you the uh, notes. And this is one thing. And what else I want to tell you? Like the last, next week is the last uh, class. We're talking about how to find potential jobs, projects, and such. I said, usually you begin with some market research, defining who is your ideal client, making sure that the client that you want can actually afford your services so you don't waste your time. Pareto principle, 80-20 rule. You want to spend 80% of your time on the one that actually will give you 80% of your income and not the opposite as is usually the case. Um, you can use LinkedIn to directly reach out to people, persons that are working in the company or uh, are basically the owners of the business that you want to work with. LinkedIn is the best place to, to use that. To go directly, I told you that you can connect, use the connect button and add a custom message or you can offer, uh, introduce yourself and offer your services. Then another way to do it to find great uh, potential jobs, projects, work, is Facebook. Now, we all learned about Facebook ads, and we heard about how you should have, and you can use a Facebook page to market yourself, but, but still, even yourself with your own personal account or your business page, you can join uh, Facebook groups 
so very, very good for that. So you can target and join Facebook groups depending on the location. Yeah, you know, like a Facebook group in Tel Aviv, Facebook group in Jerusalem, the location, but also interest-based. So let's say you um, want to offer services in the graphical design, then you can type in Facebook graphic designers Israel or whatever, or graphic designers Turkey or whichever country you want to work in, you'll find groups for every industry, for every common interest. You can type in digital marketing, this country or that country, uh, jobs or freelancers in digital marketing. Just by typing in those keywords that you want in the Facebook, you will see groups, join the groups. People are posting their projects. They need help sometimes, they ask questions. You need to engage with them. You can post your own, offer your own help or service uh, that you can market through those groups. It's free usually. Some of them, they don't like when you post every day and start spamming and be too aggressive. But if you're nice, you help people out, you answer questions for other people because you have learned things in the course, you can actually give answers and help others. And then people will start also contacting you. I can tell you, once again, my personal example, I had many people from Australia, from America, from all over the world that, I, that contacted me directly by Facebook because I was uh, posting in some groups, I was helping some people, posting some answers, and um, people need help all over the world. Today it's a connected world, there is no limitation to what you can achieve or who you can reach, as long as you have an open mind and you know how to focus. And focus is focusing on different levels. It's focusing on how you spend your time. So be efficient with your time. If you're wasting, if you have one hour a day after work in the evening after dinner to work on your own project, then if you spend all the hour on YouTube or on Instagram, then maybe you had some entertainment, but it's not proper business development. You would rather spend your time and use it on um, some good, more productive way, like for example, going through those um, Upwork, Freelancer, uh, Fiverr to look for projects and, and apply to them. Or to go through those Facebook groups that you're a member of and start replying to other people's questions and offer your help, your advice. Or to post something about your field of interest or your field of activity inside those uh, groups and become a referent, becoming an expert for this special group that you're inside. You, you can be member in multiple groups where you're starting to be active, you can also create your own group. So if in your niche, there is no group yet in the interest in around the subject that you want to be known for, then create your own group and share your group with other people. Start also with your friends and a friend of your friends, grow your own group and um, I have built groups of thousands of people within a few weeks for free just by using the power of Facebook of you know, sharing, putting some content, finding the right people, the right interest that you have, people that are interested in something and you're unique with what you have to offer, then you basically you're the only address to them. And then you can become a focal point, an authority in your domain. And then people will start contacting you instead of you having to spend money and time to find them and to contact them. It's much easier when you do proper marketing, you want people to contact you and not having to contact them directly. So the way to do it is by being proactive and investing your time, of your focus time, in a wise manner to get results, to get what you want. We talked about it, the ROI, return on your investment, right? So measure not only how much time you spend, but on what you spend it, on which activities on which website, how much time do you actually spend on business development or actually doing something meaningful that you can measure that will bring you results that you want to get because your goal is to be successful. And in order to be successful, you need to put yourself goals that can be measured. Measured meaning something that has a number to it. Uh, for example, you can get yourself a goal Every week, I'm going to send out 20 proposals to job offers. 
I'm going to post in 20 Facebook groups per week. I'm going to send out 10 emails per day to potential clients. I'm going to spend half an hour on LinkedIn. Those things are measurable. Time is measurable. And metrics like how many activities you did, like emails, posting, replying, applying, all those things are measurable. So give yourself, give yourself a measurable goal so that you can measure where you are and you can improve yourself and you can track how you're doing and where you are. But of course, you need to put yourself also some goals that are for the longer term, three months, six months, monthly goals. And if you're maybe working in a big company, you're used to it. But if you're working yourself, then you are responsible for that. No one else will do it for you. You're on your, you are your own boss. You are on your own. Then you need to be responsible and you need to have all the functions. You need to be the CFO, manage the finances, manage the accounting, manage the planning, manage the human relations, manage everything yourself. So it's a lot of things to do. And therefore you need to be organized as much as possible because if not, then what you'll do is you'll spend most of your time in extinguishing fires and doing damage control and having other people control your agenda and your time instead of you controlling your own agenda and your own time. <laughs> so you have to really to take control of what you do. Now, I mentioned those uh, freelancer marketplaces, both to find people to help you, um, contractors that can make the work or part of the work for you, and also finding projects by applying and being a freelancer on those platforms. I mentioned how you can directly contact potential ideal clients through those different social media networks like LinkedIn, like Facebook. Another common place to find interesting projects is directly on job websites. So you have all those websites that are offering job listings, normal jobs for companies like as an employee. But when you, when you see those, you can know that they have a need, for example, a social media marketing person it means that, yes, they're looking to hire one, but not all of the time it has to be an employee full-time inside their company. Sometimes they will be open to taking someone, a freelancer, outside remotely, meaning that you can be here and work for a company in America. You can be here and work for a company in Australia. You can do it full-time, part-time. You can do it as their employee working online, or you can do it as a contractor being paid by month, by project, by, by the hour. Everything is open. As long as you are proactive and you try and you offer yourself and you send them an email, you send them a LinkedIn, you send them not one message, two messages, three messages, five messages, you follow up once, twice, three times, five times until they actually answer, until they tell you, uh, no thanks, not relevant, or contact us again in two months or in one week, or until they tell you something, or please don't stop sending us emails. So until you get a no or yes, you need to continue, be focused, work, apply, focus and control pressure, so-called pressure, so that you can get the results and, and basically outsmart and outnumber your competition. So this is uh, something important for success. Another element is not forgetting everything which is happening in the real world. So we talk a lot about here in the course about the virtual world, the online world, but still, even today in the very connected world we live in, there's a very big importance to human contact, to being uh, outside, to meeting people face to face. And that's why this is here also the importance of going to networking events, okay? So in every city, and you know, luckily we are right now in Israel and Tel Aviv, and Tel Aviv is one, of the most uh, active cities or hubs in the world for startups, for digital marketing in general. So you have plenty of options, plenty of networking events in all different industries, all different sizes, all different